really interesting place we went to was a little town called Tipitapa. So Tipitapa pretty much did not exist, I believe, until there was a hurricane off of um, Lake Managua. The people who had been living on the shore of Lake Managua um, were seriously affected by this hurricane. All of their homes were destroyed, most of their belongings were taken. They were housed for a couple of months by the government, and then they were taken to this place, which is pretty remote. Um, it's out of the city where they're used to being. The woman we went to go see um, had been making these bracelets and um, and bags like chain bags out of um, out of chip bags. So pretty much they would collect chip bags, which are everywhere because there's trash everywhere. Um, and they were taught how to weave them in and out of each other, and then they sew zippers into them and such. I mean, it was a very, the most impoverished place I saw while on the trip. I'm a middle -year. A ver, dale, uy, metal. Hola, chico. Era una pregunta para ustedes, yo no entendí. Este, dice como ellos, bueno, nosotros tenemos muchos privilegios, como de donde vivimos, las oportunidades que tenemos. ¿Quieren saber cómo se sienten ustedes que nosotros? I mean, it's really, it's a really indescribable experience. I mean, they just really, I can't imagine being in that much destruction, that much depression. I mean, it's just so depressing. Um, you know, they live in like one room houses for maybe a family of six to eight. There's flies everywhere. It's made out of whatever they can get, usually, which is like black trash bags and 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 metal scraps. So, and it's there's no trees, so it's extremely hot everywhere you go. It's extremely dusty. Um, and they really just have been so unsupported. I mean, when they were placed there by the government, they were told they would be supplied with proper housing. Um, their basic needs, they would be, um, I mean, there would be job opportunities, there would be water, but for the past, for the, almost the first half of the year they were there, they didn't ha even have a well because it got contaminated, because um, a child fell in it and died, and many people were dying because they were trying to drink the water and couldn't, I mean, they had no other water source. <laughs> it's so, it's so hard to imagine for a person coming from a place where you have so many options, even from the, just like the simplest things that you just don't think about every day. Abonada con la bendita Nicaragua. Sangre de Dirianque Ay Nicaragua sos más dulcita Que la mielita de Tamaga Pira jura que ya sos libre Nicaraguita Yo te quiero mucho más
How do you guys feel about today's trip to Tipi Tapa? It was crazy. Um, it was very, very um, eye-opening. Yeah. Um, especially considering the fact that a very large percent of the world lives like that, off of... Uh, no money. Off of an unpromised um, one dollar a day you know, is, is just mind-boggling, you know, for us to witness that as, you know, we go to a $40,000 a year school and that's, that kind of money is in, incomprehensible to people like that. It made me think a lot about whether I wanted to go to college, whether I wanted to dedicate myself my studies, you know, and like, and do I, do I put my responsibility in, um, in educating myself so then I can help the world, or, or what, you know, like, what is, what is more moral or ethical, do I, and just push myself in and involve myself in society and do whatever I can to help on the education that I've already gained, which is, uh, much more than most of the people, I'm sure, to be Tapa have obtained.